ma me fa na se ma pen dream tv pen dream tv de o se dem yopo so abusia for a year doctor ata kennedy wakasa and doctor ata kennedy a year wura mekana se o ye founding member of the mpp on yin paketua ewo mpp mu mekan guru sa ewo mpp mu apapayi waka hon sa mbeka 2008 anasa mekan se 2007 na oye eh, one of the aspirants ha na omu epre afrifese mpp delegate sebe to abamu omu na anka omu tumi abeye flag bearer na anka omu tumi ahim mpp franka anu eno ena niti anye yima omu mpe yini akufuadu ewini ye na papayi eh, after so omu mpe yini akufuadu wini anu ono ena omu mpe yini akufuadu e selecte anu as ne campaign manager in 2008 Eye, Dr. Atta Kennedy. Onye di pake tu wakura wa MPP. Nwa be kasa, e di afa, e ye, e, na po a, e ye, Dr. Mahmoudu Baumia, a yinu as ne running mate. Na, GH1 TV so, e na, ye de, en komoi, e toto, so na, e she she, so na, papayi, e en se ma, o kengi na, e chere se, ono di, o hunu se, e, e ye, uh, Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe Napo, ya, yeah, Yako Fano Abba as the running mate no Enkosi Anga, Enkosi Baby, I was say, Adia no de, Kano, and Yako Prempe, we meet into me, and Yako Shi, and who here, they say, Ya Castle Ubi Club, a boy, Ama, a year MPP, a wini election, or say, and Yama will be a fa crampo, and Fana, you know, crampo, and co, a year doctor, a year Matthew Poku Prempe, so no crampo, the Oye, and Chenia, and just why you don't know, I can't be him say. Sa Dr. Mahmoud ba, ba umiya kwa peso wa ya adi wa election mo be ya nko mpa mo do e yi akufa do kwa mfri ne, ne kampi mo mo akufa do bi jina ne kampi stage bi aso nye sa adi ya ni tire ate kwa adi kwa di wya gana fo koma siya di ye ne ni bira ba na bufu wa ba no masa se gana fo nye hun akufa do pe ni omu bube fu nti ni ma on fa manem ben um po kwa na se be ye ye no e no e ne asa wano a ni ya mko e ye GH1 so na ye kuti e mko ma e koso ni samwa o kan ye brugu fom a chile se e pati ni mono e ye huru kutu 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 after e ye na po ni appointment as the running mate of the MPP. I have a pen dream TV so much so subscribe to the channel. No one like video no at the Amame. Oh like you we are now share uh video no at the at to other platforms so I'm a full flow so so and you be after me. So what being to be a year oh share now now the two comment session no I say at the Amai the number of comment we have a bia eh and fa hon the here so oh chila what be a mobi so so at on kaya nko jh1 so ni nko ti nko mono embra sisi ya Let's speak to Dr. Arthur Kennedy. He is a former uh, flag bearer aspirant of the NPP. Now, the party has found its foot in terms of getting a flag bearer and a running mate going to election 2024. But let's speak to him and find out his thoughts on the choice of Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe and what that portends for the fortunes of the party going forward. Doc, thank you so much for joining us on Zoom. Thank you for inviting me. Great, I thank hope you're doing you. well. Good morning to your viewers. Fantastic. So, as it stands now, your party has settled on Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe to um, join Dr. Baumia on the ticket for the party going into election 2024. What are your thoughts on this Baumia Napo duo? Yeah, um, I congratulate um, Dr. Poku Prempe for his choice as running mate. Um, if eventually it will all come down to the candidate himself and maybe in the case of the MPP to the president who is not on the ballot. Um, the researchers have always known that in such elections, the most important question is, would you vote for the outgoing president if he was still on the ballot? And if most people who vote for the president, if they could, they will vote for the nominee of his party. So in a certain sense, that matters more than the choice of running mate. Um, but I congratulate um, Dr. Poku Prempe for being chosen as the running mate. Now, one of the albatross on the neck of Dr. Poku Prempe is his relation with uh, public. the public. People have described him as arrogant, and they say this tag will eventually drag Dr. Baumia. You don't think so? 
Well, I mean, everything is yet to be done. This is a campaign. This is a new beginning. Um, yes, he's had um, some contentious relationship with the media, and he said some unfortunate things, but all of us have made mistakes before. So I believe that um, this election is yet to be won or lost. As the new British Prime Minister said earlier this morning, um, in politics, nothing is preordained. So there is a lot of campaigning yet to be done. Mm. And does, does the choice of Dr. Matthew Poku Prempe inspire or inject um, energy into the MPP's tickets going into 2024? Um, I don't know that it inspires. My, my view is that a running mate is not that significant in who people choose to vote for or do not vote for. Like I said, I think actually the president who is not on the ballot matters more than the running mate mm. or even the candidate in mm. this instance. Mm. So for you, it's going to center more on Dr. Baumia and not necessarily who is on the ticket with. Yes, Dr. Baumia and the president and his record. Right. So talking about the president in this particular issue, how exactly will, will, that, will that work out? Well, it, it is actually pretty simple and um, elections are actually very fundamental processes. If you walk around the streets and you ask um, 100 or 1,000 or whatever, the appropriate number is well balanced. Um, if Nana Ekufuado was um, eligible for re-election, would you vote for him, yes or no? If a majority are voting for him, it votes well for his party. If a majority will say no, then it doesn't vote well for his party. Mm, right. So, so that, that, that's, that, that's the dynamics there. But, but also looking at the fortunes of the NPP going into the elections, some MPs even have expressed fear that, well, looking at the current situation economy-wise economy in the country and seeing what happened in Kenya, um, looks like a lot of people are displeased and that could really backfire on the NPP. And that is a very valid concern. Actually, um, what is at stake is not even just the fate of the MPP, it's the fate of our democracy. I think that there is significant discontent on our streets. Our young people are finishing um, university and not getting jobs. People are being charged bribes to get into government jobs, including even the security services. Um, our rivers are being polluted in the name of Galamse. Um, the president and the MPP government have failed to fulfill two of the most significant promises the president made, which was protect the public purse and I'll put my presidency on the line to fight Kalam State. So given that um, Dr. Baumia and Dr. Poku Prempe have a very steep hill to climb. Right, and, and in, talk, in terms of the despondency when it comes to uh, the youth and how they feel, how do you think that the NPP can navigate these waters? Five months to the elections. Well, um, I don't think it's just the MPP, but now that you said that, let me start with them. I think um, my own sense of the streets is that people are dissatisfied with the Nanado government. So any message of continuity um, wraps salt into people's wounds. So if people won't want to vote for um, Nanado and you are pledging continuity, then that will bode ill for you. People want to see how different Baumia will be from Nanai Kukwado. That is why he kind of resorted to the schoolboy prank of a blanket. So that is the first thing. But more to the point, I think that this is not just an MPP problem. It's a national problem that mm. our democracy is facing a credibility crisis. And I think that particularly looking at Kenya, whose case I have followed keenly over the last few days, um, we should, as the Akans say, um, fetch water and put beside our beard when we see the other people's beards are on fire. Mm -hmm. um, we are very close to an explosion based on the despondency on our streets. Mm. And, and for, for the MPs in, in our parliament, they have talked about the fact that, well, it, it could be largely as a result of the political class being uh, delineated from the realities of the, the ordinary Ghanaian. Is that really the case? 
Yeah, that is the case. And actually, Parliament, um, in the gap between now and election, Parliament could do a lot to restore hope. You know, um, things like public housing projects that have been abandoned while people have no housing. They can start holding the government to account on doing nothing about Galam Seed. Um, they can start holding people to account about um, asset declaration forms that have not been made public. Um, a myriad alphabet soup of deals that have not been proved. The death of the Tachiman 8, um, the Sal case, the San Trophy, Apafu, Lulubi and Lipe people who were disenfranchised the last time. These things by parliament would begin to give people a glimmer of hope that the future will not be as dire as the present or the past. Mm. And, and in all of this, should, should the president play a key role or an active role in the campaign of Dr. Baumia? Um, if I was Dr. Baumia, I wouldn't want him anywhere near my campaign. <laughs> Why not? I mean, he, 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 he says he, the, the, the president is the driver, he's the mate, so once the mate is he wants to take over from the driver, he, he should have some lessons as a guide for him, from the driver. Yeah, but, but he knows that the driver is heading in the wrong direction. So if the mate gets in the driver's seat, he should change direction. So if I was him, I wouldn't want the president anywhere near my camp. But, but knowing very well how it works in the party and all, do you think that indeed Dr. Baumia can uh, be his own man and not have the president anywhere near his campaign? If he wants to win, he will be. Um, if he doesn't want to win, then of course, the president was his godfather who blessed him with this nomination and the president will take him to defeat. And, and, and from all that you have seen over the years, do you see that happening, Dr. Baumia being able to really cut off? Well, um, we should always be careful about predicting what people will do. When you are staring at electoral defeat, sometimes you can do radical things. There are rumors, for example, that Dr. Poku Prempe was not um, the president's choice for running mate, but Dr. Baumia picked him anyway. So I can't say what Dr. Baumia will do or will not do, but I'm just saying that if I was Dr. Baumia, the president will not be anywhere near my campaign and I would boldly tell the people of Ghana about the mistakes that have been made, failing to protect the public press, you know, not fighting Galamsi, the myriad alphabet soup of corruption, um, judicial malfeasance, undermining the integrity of a lot of our state agencies and institutions and pledge that I will um, for the new path. Mm. And can Dr. Baumia exonerate himself from any of this, the things you've mentioned that happened in this government? Well, we are about to see. That will tell us his skill as a politician. But for now, he has a long road to go and, and um, a lot of campaigning left to do. But I think that um, this election is um, John Mohammed to lose and Alan's to um, change. What do you mean by that? Well, I mean that looking at everything, um, taking into account the global winds of change, Ghana's tendency to change parties after every eight years, Nanado's abysmal record, it means that um, if you look at things through the historical prism, then the NDC seemed to be slightly favored. Having said that, Alan is the new card. Um, he's been a little complacent, but he's the person who can shake up this race and potentially take it to a second round. Um, that aside, there's a lot of campaigning left to be done. So um, we should all hold on tight to our seats. Mm. If elections were held today, now, will the MPP be able to break the eight? Um, they will, the elections will not be held today, so hypothetical. Um, <laughs> and like I have just said in all the foregoing discussion, I, I think that um, Dr. Baumia has um, a difficult task ahead of him. And maybe in the next five, six months, he can close the gap. But for now, it appears to me that um, Mr. Mahama, former President Mahama, appears to have the inside track a little bit. Mm. Now, talking about Alan Kujo-Cherbatin, I mean, the polls 
don't seem to favor him in any way, looking at what has been conducted even till date. What is Alan not getting right? You mentioned complacency, but is that really the case only? Yes, it is. Um, I think that he would make a fine president if he were elected, but um, so far he hasn't been an inspiring candidate. If you are going to go out on a third party independent candidate as a maverick, then you ought to be a maverick. He seems to be too much of the establishment to attack it. And he's not going to be relevant unless he attacks the establishment and slays the secret cows, mm. which pushed him out of the party and which has marginalized him. So, so for you, he's been to, um, he's dealing with the government with kid, kid gloves. He's not able to punch as he should. Yes, not at all. Mm. And uh, I think that we don't know his ceiling yet. And um, it will depend on the aggression and passion and candor with which he addresses the issues confronting the country. Mm. If there is discontent on the streets, he is the most, um, he, he is the best positioned person to harvest the discontent. But all in all, um, the question is whether it will be first or second round. For now, it will appear to me this election is President Mohammed's to lose. Mm. Quite interesting, because Alan has presented his GTP, the Great Transformational Plan. He's told Ghanaians exactly how he wishes to transform the economy, among others, if he's elected president. Yeah, and I have um, told Alan and a lot of his people that People don't vote on transformational plans. They vote with anger and frustration, as the Santegene memorably told Namado. So um, if Alan is going to succeed, he needs to harvest the anger on the streets. Mm. If he doesn't do that, no amount of plans and um, bravo and transformational talk will do anything. As for Tokyo Tiabre, and, and you believe that's the general consensus of a lot of Ghanaians? I have to be aware, but... Absolutely. Mm. Because, you know, the problem with Ghana is not that we don't have plans. Actually, even Nanando's government has had a lot of very good plans. Those plans have been hampered by corruption and incompetence. Mm. So um, new plans will not change anybody's perspective. Mm. And, and talking about Alan and the people surrounding him, the, the argument is that, well, these are people who also broke off from the stock of the NPP. So what really difference, what difference would that really make to Alan's candidacy? Well, it, it, it depends on what is it that they take away from the NPP. Yeah, there are some competent people around him. Nano Hininto is very competent. But at the end of the day, it goes to the core of Alan, whether he is too much of the establishment to break with it or whether he is truly a transformative visionary who can inspire Ghanaians to follow him. Mm. Um, that really is the issue. Mm, mm, mm. And, and talking about John Dramani Mahama of the NDC, I mean, earlier the polls suggested he had wide margins. Now it looks like he, he is dwindling in terms of the numbers in the margins. Does that come as a surprise to you? No, uh, yes and no. I mean, the, the election will always close, getting to the end, as more and more people focus on it. I think that maybe um, President Mahama needs to um, engage the public more. I think that, unlike a lot of people who are very pessimistic, I think I'm intrigued by President Mahama's campaign and his possible government because he left um, the presidency in disgrace after a heavy defeat first certain president to lose one touch. Mm -hmm. So um, I think he's done a lot of reflection. Um, I'm just finishing a biography of Richard Nixon and I'm reflecting on what leaders do after they lose elections. I think that um, another term for President Mahama, if um, he is tuned to history and his conscience, might be a transformative term in which he will lead a government of national unity that would deliver hope to our um, despairing masses. Mm, 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 quite interesting. And finally, let's touch on this. The Chief Justice has nominated some, uh, or presented a list of some five just, uh, judges to the President to nominate to the Supreme Court. Some say, well, the NEC, for instance, says the President is seeking to pack the bench. Others say, well, the Chief Justice did not have the locum to even suggest to the President who to appoint. Much ado about nothing? 
Um, it's much ado about nothing, but it tells us about the hubris of our establishment. We are sitting, sitting on the deck of the Titanic and moving chairs. We already have 15 Supreme Court justices. That is more than the United States that have 10 times our population. And the judiciary's reputation has taken a hit. He's not running the court well. There are a lot of Supreme Court justices who are unhappy with how she sets panels up without explaining to anybody how she changes panels in the middle of cases. I think our judiciary needs major transformation. Our appellate process should be clarified. The formula for picking panels should be clear and not um, secretive. Um, panels should not be changed in the middle of cases. So our judiciary have a long road to hell and the idea that anybody would think of adding judges now is it defies imagination. Mm. It just that the person is not attuned to what is happening on our streets. But her argument is that, well, the Supreme Court is inundated with a huge workload, for which reason they need more justices to be able to deal with the issues that uh, come before them. Yeah, but first, the, I, I read um, the Constitution on how you pick Supreme Court judges, and it does not say that the judges shall nominate judges for appointment to the Supreme Court. She ought to know the Constitution. She's the Chief Justice. So the, the, the argument about the workload for you does not come in at all? No, it doesn't. And if the United States with 330 million people can do with nine Supreme Court justices, I don't know how we, and there are too many. It might mean that maybe they are taking on too many frivolous cases or that she's not picking the panels more efficiently. Mm. And, and after that, we, we've not heard anything from the presidency, nothing. We only heard from the chief justice herself providing justification again for why she did that. Are you surprised? Yes, I'm surprised. But more to the point, the chief justice is never mentioned in the process of nominating judges to the Supreme Court. Yeah. So if he is talking, maybe she will tell us her criteria, whether these people were picked because they were the brightest bulbs on the bench or they are her friends or they are loyal to her and particularly when they include the judge who is presiding over um, the controversial trial on ambulances and catching flat from for her really strange rulings mm. it almost suggests that she is being rewarded unfortunately mm. and the timing is also a problem for people because we have elections in what less than five months Absolutely. Mm. I mean, it is a very bad idea. Mm. And so you, you, would, you would expect that uh, the president would have spoken on this and said, you know what, we are not going to do this because of the timing and all of that? Uh, to be fair to the president, though, this is just speculation in the weeds. You know, the chief justice has no locus to nominate Supreme Court justices. So this is just talk. But the letter was sent to his office, actually. I know. I know the letter was sent to his office, but it should have come from the Judicial Council. Mm. That is what my reading of the Constitution tells me. Mm. So the Chief Justice on her own shouldn't be doing that. Mm. Right. Right. Mr. Kennedy, thank you so much, Doc, for your, your time uh, this morning. And I'm sure that clearly you've, you've, you've touched on very key issues. But, I mean, going into the elections 2024, December 7, you've talked about what you see. But what about Ghanaians? What would be your word to them then? My word for them is to vote to your interest. You know, um, if you keep voting for people who keep breaking their promises and you keep voting for them, then you are doing something wrong too. Really? <laughs> and, and from the voting patterns you've seen over the years, do, do we vote for our interests? Do you see that um, there? No, we don't. We vote for our partisan satisfaction and for our ethnic satisfaction. And that hasn't led us anywhere. We need significant realignment of our political forces. Mm. And how, what, what would cause that shift? Because as it stands now, I mean, we've heard of cases where people have told Ghanaians, well, people have short memories when it comes to the hardships they encounter and all of that. So what would be that force that would, would change the, the status quo? their pain on the streets, their frustration, their joblessness. Mm. 
the arrogance of power. That should inform choices made in December. Yes. Mm. And and in te- so that's for both presidency and parliamentary elections? Every election. Mm. I think that there ought to be significant transformation of our relationship with governance. Mm. Um, electing DC is separating parliament from the presidency. But I think that in effect, the thing is leadership. Right. It's not just moving things on paper. It is leadership that delivers. Mm. And uh, talking about Parliament, has Parliament delivered as people hoped? Because when the numbers were a bit balanced, when we saw what we saw in this Parliament, a lot of people were of the view that, well, we're going to see some dramatic changes. But for, from your observation, have we really benefited from Parliament as it is now? Because the President says he would not even wish this kind of Parliament on his worst enemy. Well, no, no really. I mean, I think that the star of this last four years has been the speaker who hasn't gotten enough attention and the challenges that he has faced trying to, in effect, get this parliament moving in the same direction. But I actually think that the fact that the parliament couldn't do much may have been a blessing because look at how much damage the president has done in the last four years. With a parliament doing whatever he wanted, there will have been more damage. Mm, mm. So this hung parliament really was a blessing? In disguise. In disguise. <laughs> and you said a speaker, uh, he's been the star of, of parliament and all of that. How so? Tell me more about that. Yeah, because, you know, all the other speakers, the reason why they have been effective is that they had presidents behind them. So whenever the president wanted something done and the speaker was leading parliament, he was really leading parliament to help the president achieve his agenda. This speaker, unfortunately, doesn't have a president behind him. So it means that he could not rely on that core of support that every speaker before him has had. He's trying to try to change things, but he virtually has no constituency. Mm. Even within one party, there's division. Um, for example, I reached out to him about the COVID funds, three billion ton. And he told me, he said, I referred it to the relevant committees. They didn't remind me. Mm. So I think that the speaker and his, for example, gotten parliamentary rules redrafted. So with the benefit of hindsight, we found out that the speaker in the last four years has done significant work, which has not borne fruit because he has not had as much cooperation Mm. as he needed. Doc, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, We are grateful for your time this morning. I thank you for the opportunity. Fantastic. Yo, enti abushia for aye um, Doctor Ata Kennedy ena yakofa ene koma oni GH1 TV for a D Y a D Abraham Uyi. Doctor Ata Kennedy aye a founding member of the MPP. Amanu kuno na mu amu kai se se me di kan kai in 2007 he was part of the um 17 as parents are now omo hwese mpp delegates beto aba e di ama omo na enka omo tumi abeye flag bearer ya anku yi ama no but 2008 e ye oman peyini akufuado at the time ana um all pressure ye nya no president no e ye ono atakeni din as ne um, campaign manager enti ba mpp amanyo kunu mu ni emu nsensem apapai wa kwadar mu pa gana amanyo sam de e untimi ni papai emfiri mu da wa ben wati eh eh enyo mase wati eh 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 fansen amanyo ase enti se obeka ensemisi a wo biara wo se wo ye sabio badwema no e wo se wo fa ni nsem no em wo fansen nyansem wo se Ubu huwa kwa because wa mfi ya ufane tra ebe fa ose la. Ukai after election 2008 or the book bikwampu ba ya okan e se eh, chasing the elephant into the bush. Sa ha o story no sa book no kaya wa ubu huwa en sama wa uchwa ubu huwa papa no oye deep. Na eh, ne ne nsama wa kano mene no e ya adbeni bibiri se eh, o manpe nini e kufu ado e ye insu ni diye wa fiti mu eh, Excuse me, was say in Suno Ediama or Mampinini, Abedi Chiba, or Miada, than the meeting was saying Suna man. There is nothing the meeting will beat me. What he has here, meeting, there is nothing he can do. 
and no more cassa. So, up your bontain, Nasa Sebi Ukusia Gana for now only or more cassa be so much and patcho or my opinion a cufado. I say a basset to a barman be my better to a barman. That's what they say. Ubia Cassa Debbie 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 meant to man meant to man. It tells you that indirectly that same energy no, would affect a year ni meat a year baumia. Definitely because. Se o boss no anya dia o ni o boss no ne nam o na we ni meet nti se o boss no anya dia automatically wo no anya dia nti baumia se on be president of Ghana dia ata Kennedy person che se anya dia et se se biu et se ponko eh e person ofa e ye eh panie tukrum ati ase tukrum na e de pam e wo panie na e de pam adie no sa tukrum no oh as a punk or person or fast out to crew pia bunting, it is difficult, a very difficult. This is a miracle be ha, this is a miracle be ne be si na ebia obi hun sadia na ya miracle padia eh or man pinia be the chili bambu do bow me ade ne na pui so me win election will crumha. One day, some you election winning a will crumha a ya juma waye a juma sumo. A wa yama gana fo a mo ma jia tu mo se ampa wa bo e juma. E no, e na gana fo, e fye so de to a ba ma o. Ba ti e fye, o ma mpe jine kufu a do di e ya. E ni ni ma ba o mi a di e ya. E ya ni mo gwa si e po to a, che se, o jine hon a, che se, o en in kusi. Sometimes you think about, e fye nse si ka a bi din kufu e in sem, na u bi sa on se sa si ka ni di e no mo di a ye, u bi so mo an ka sa kwa se di e no mo di a ya. Na omo to to anansi sema. Na adye na kwe ye se. Ase mkrofono di ye di agro. Na ase se se. Ase omo. E e. Afa ye se. Se bi yo ye ya nwe ya na mwe bi. Wati ase. On ti ase si kari nina ase. Omo di si kari nina. U mwen fi mpun tu juma bi ya. Wati ase. E ti se gana fo bu. Omo kon. Em. E e. Se bi yo. Omo bu kon po kwe omo chi. Na omo e fe juma son wa. E ye o man penyine da da John Dramani Mahama e bode ma o ma in gana. E che se o moun krem po moun se o man penyine Mahama no ye di na bro. E che se ye di na bro pa 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 ye ti ye se bi yon krofu yi e na da sem ne intro a o mou di to no so e na ye de kotu ti ya no. E ne se e ne a di ya no a bu ye di a juma na shaw moun sa bi bu a ka o moun se moun a o moun hou bebi a e boto na no da no mou de krem po a ye de yin a ko she moun. E ti 2024 elections in that year called Akabe less than five months. I'm a yako to a bay. I'm saying, sir, sir, you, oh, you are being so called to a bar. Who could use a ballot paper net the whole? Nasa, sabby, 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 woo, pa to me. A year wide being so called to a bar, mom and pinny, a bow me a pass on. No, no, one's a bet to a election, a pa, a fence, a mamu, pa, so the art. Neche wankasa no sebi sebi na chesa akau kakra. Neche se wankasa no amanyo sebi na ye ye no. No maina uti mu onti asi ye. Onti amanyo sebi asi. Because sebi uko abruchira. E ye ye fe ni ye koso. E wo sistemu ni ye fe asitina mu ni ya jina so di ato apa. E bi ena na e ye Dr. Ata Kennedy. E kase o fe ilesi ya e koso e wo yuki. Na... And yet, the Labour Party no can you move fast? We need election now. And you will be the best. Say, if the economy becomes hard for the people, they will vote against you. Now, what more she or how a come a new bread? Just a hot chere. Oh yeah, I I could do on my pa. Now on my and ne ya just a ya deka 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 me in me tuya ya kabim. Eh? Na wansi uu kwa shi sa anko fu iso. E di akoto. A bata a mwa. Mwa mwa ntua so diya. Na mwa ntua diye nso. Na diye mpa na mwa ntua. Ati ya siye. E ti na diya ndiye. Anya jie gu. E nye na po a mwa dene beba. Na po nuko ankasa kura mpo. Na wano ministri se yede. Ne to anu yina. Oko se e ho. Yede education ministry. E shi e nensa. E no oko ye e man ne. Education defense SHS. Free SHSE, ya kwa ni dumso dumso. E bini mo ba, 6 months, ni bima betina fi, 3 months, 4 months, 6 months. Na, wu yi mwa ba kakra, no mwa bi kubi kakra. Wa wu yi di whole of Africa. Sku ben, 
excuse me, school band of artists and crophobi a cobisa. School band, the whole of Africa, be a new school year could be set in Kuala. A bit me bet nephew bears and come on fine and my university for Niger, care bet nephew bear a jumaka crampo dia pisica, and the aja a shifi and as a dia at all muscus near one dia. Now Kuala, now Kuala to me bet nephew six months, five months, four months, or the jidding, or because school no are born. Nina, na it was under Dr. Matthew Puku Prempe, aka Napo, aka and say doctor. Ne a or no, and a course ye, at ye, and he such a person. Ubi a or no from na pencil be di ye a fan saying education minister. Na or more withdraw the a fan saying the existing curriculum at teacher for her so the child ye. Eight years in it. One to me, one to me, I'm providing a fence saying a new curriculum. I'm my teachers in the permanent. Up till now, I'm going to be providing a mom. Now, we are no home. We are the LGBTQ at the tree. Eddie Barber, she new curriculum. No, say Ghana for ma and for you. I did a ba a day. Napo Papa, we and I'm also going to talk about what's a education. We are no eto in China, wine beam. You are the bad energy ministry, and I doom so doom so he started say ever. And that ye could could oil crumper a year a fence saying a year the bad power generation and ya power at the at the a saw a light of crown into me to ya. Oh ha na or my threatening a cacra a year a fence saying a private. Power producers, no more threaten government. Eh, my my is got you be you be cut it. Your power no more cut it. Now if you are called to do some, no more to pay fiscal free baby boom. No more to be to ya. And then you are the one who pay baby boom boom jo over by two billion. You don't mean to ya. You push ya. You don't mean to ya. Scan over here. Oh my di. What you say? Nina, your power affairs energy minister. Ya na pu ena a critical problem. We nina edi amaga na fo. Baby, I didn't know be a okosel. He's an incompetent leader. Now, sadly, no, but can competent offense uh, another person. I don't know, and the economy couldn't mean Kahuas and Beam. I was saying, Ume, they know, Elbe Dinachi, Abbe Ede. I was saying, I have a pending TV. Make sure to subscribe to the uh, channel. Now, I like it video, no, I'm a no chef out to other places, my Afro so And so, to me, I'm a Ashe. Uh, following our oh, social media handles, you know, but we have a pending TV, uh, mobile Facebook, uh, pending TV, Ghana, pending TV, see, I call for pending FM, Eddie Abraham, Moses, some more per se, who be a said you person so okay, why do you ever a year any political issue be a cause of Ghana? Ha. When you add a home out, so be a voice note and we a voice note. Nafa Ebra, we a voice note. We the be fat line, a eh, WhatsApp line na at eh, that screen. So no zero two seven seven one two eight seven 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 zero two seven seven one two eight seven seven seven. 0277128777. Oh, the far one more. Yeah, in Sabakani, I born with pending FM, so I'm a Ghana for you now at TV. Yes, be a citizen and not a spectator. Pen Dream TV, Edamu Yopo. God have mercy upon us. I do it. <laughs> if you give me thousands of Ghana cards and one US dollar, I will choose the dollar. So I have a life, and you can a Oni kwa kutia mugi miami Odo yu mugi miami Oni kwa kutia no mugi miami Odo wadi mshuwa tia tia Adore, 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 
you want me to do more? Kwa kwa man fer so besu wini Yes, we are dear bro, better so She, 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 she moon you Haba ya di bo techi Ya di bi be bo ban debi Sana wu bi miami You can lie your way to power You can do all propaganda Dollar rate will expose you <laughs> The dollar has broken jail You are pathological liar You lie for living Lies are your hobby Google and Wikipedia recognize you As a liar Your talent is to lie, lie. You promise me heaven and earth You promise me the whole universe None of them has been fulfilled You said if I give you power I will live like in heaven Look at the way I'm suffering Who call him? Who do you have trouble with my mind? What trouble my own? I'm on my foot, I say, oh, 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 Now I cast your mind back You see how you destroy yourself <laughs> People see you as a joker joker. They see you as comedian People see you like Mr. Ibu They see you like Lewin So Dr. Lies, change your ways As someone me can watch you now Dr. Lies, change your ways so Your judgment day is coming on What? 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 Makasa